Huh? Hey, it's it's your it's your your favorite cat, your favorite blue cat, back again, uh, with another drawing video. I finally pried myself away from uh, from Pokemon long enough to draw something new. I probably shouldn't shouldn't have gotten a Switch or Pokemon because it's really really destroying my productivity. But um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try my best to uh, stay away from it. But anyway, um, I wanted to draw Alice Angel from Bendy and the Ink Machine, so I thought she was a really cool character, and I really need to, to practice females a little bit more. And uh, I thought she was a really cool design. She's a really interesting character. I, I tried to draw the good version. There's two versions of her, I guess. Uh, there's like the evil version and the good version, or just like the normal version. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's... Uh, Something to do with the voice actor. I think the voice actor got replaced, and the one that got replaced wanted revenge or something. I don't know. You can tell I don't really know too much about Bendy and the Ink Machine. I love the um, I love the style. I think the style. I think the Meatly is the one who made everything. Um, I love the style. I think it's awesome. I think Bendy's a really cool character. Um, Boris or the Goofy of the of the of the game. Um, I think it's all really cool. But I uh. It's not my type of game. I don't know. I'll get around to playing it eventually, I'm sure, but I just can't... I don't know. I'm not really into those types of games. But I love, like, the aesthetic, though. That's what kills me. Is like, I want to play it because I love the aesthetic, but I'm not really into, like, walking around horror games and, like, jump scares and stuff. But anyway, back to the drawing, the thing on the screen. I'm drawing some fingers. I think I'm getting better with hands. They don't look like a terrifying squid anymore. A squid having a seizure. That's what usually my hands look like. Uh, I think I'm getting a little bit better with that. Practice makes perfect, or at least uh, decent in my case. <laughs> um, uh, I try to stay pretty loose. So, as you can see, I, I stayed really loose with the sketch. So there's like the initial sketch where I sort of just get the the proportions and stuff. Because look how big the hand was. Oh my god. Um, so that's why you want to stay loose with the sketch is because if you had to change something, you're going to have to erase everything. And uh, you always want to stay pretty loose and, and not not do too much detail on one specific area. Um, so I do like a basic sketch first, and then I do a refined sketch, which is what I'm doing now, where I basically go through and I try to add a little bit more detail. Um, this is like the final step before doing the line work and everything. And uh, I like this pose. I think this actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure about her hair. I don't know. I feel like I'm not really good with hair yet. But the face looks okay. The face actually looks proportional. It looks pretty decent. Looks like a looks like a girl. I don't know. I think that's a plus, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, the proportions seem to be pretty good. I'm, I'm still kind of like not that great with shoulders. I feel like her shoulders are kind of weird. But uh, I think everything else looks pretty good. The hands are like okay. Um, I found a really good way to draw hands. Um, I've been taking courses on Udemy or Udemy, and uh, that's helped me tremendously. Like I've been improving a lot. And uh, I've got some really cool stuff coming up. Um, I have uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I have a drawing for that. I don't know why I'm talking about stuff in the future. I mean, let, let's focus on the drawing at hand here. So anyway, uh, it's uh, Alice Angel. She's uh, she's a character. She has horns and a halo. I don't, I don't know why she has both. But uh, the references that I found, she has both. I guess she's a little bit of both. She's a she's an angel and a, a demon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> riveting commentary for speed art. I know, it's uh, it's my forte, keeping you engaged while I fast forward through something I drew. <laughs> um, so here we go. I'm putting in the flat color. I was originally gonna. Oh my god, she looks like a demented Simpsons character. I originally was gonna make her. Uh, like the yellow, the, the sepia tone? I think that's what you would call it. I was originally gonna make her the sepia tone, but it didn't look right. It looked kind of goofy, but uh, then I, I wanted to make her a little bit more blue. Like I was trying to make her look black and white, but I didn't want to use just black and white. I wanted to use a little bit of blue. So she looks black and white, but she's actually a little bit of blue. There's a little bit of blue in that color. And uh, I, originally she was a little bit more blue, but she looked kind of like Marceline from Adventure Time, and I was like, eh. Um, but yeah, I put in the flat colors. Almost looked like she had a mustache. <laughs> I put in the flat colors, and I try to work in the shadows and stuff, and I have the, uh, 
I have the lighting coming from above. Shading is one of those things that's kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes I feel like I do a really good job, and other times I'm just like, oh, this looks like, it looks like they're bruised. Like, it doesn't look like they're shaded, it just looks like they're really bruised. But I think this one looks okay. Um, the microphone shading looks really good when it, I, I know it does, it's not shaded right now, but I, when it is shaded, it, it looks pretty cool. And I've, I've been trying to, uh, practice a lot and, and draw a lot of different things. And I think that helps a lot with, uh, with drawing, like drawing things you wouldn't even expect to be helpful, helps you in the long run. Like, uh, especially different textures and different surfaces and things. So like, you know, you might not, like, if you, you might not find drawing a car really interesting, but, you know, like, say that's not what you want to draw. But drawing a car, you can, like, learn a lot of things from it that you can apply to other things. So, like, how the bumper looks, how, like, the car looks, uh, like, the parts, like, how the parts fit together. And, like, you might not draw cars after that, but if you're drawing a robot or some sort of machine or something, you can kind of recall that, how a car looks, and uh, incorporate some of those elements into it. And, uh, so, the, the summary here is draw just anything, and draw stuff you wouldn't even think to be interesting to draw, because you can still take elements from that and apply it later on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just like, you know, don't just practice one thing, because then you'll, uh, you won't ever break out of your comfort zone, and then you, sometimes you'll fall into a slump where you're kind of just drawing everything the same way. I don't know. I'm sort of just rambling at this point. I don't really know what to talk about. I, I think most people just use speed arts and they don't do commentary over them. But I feel like that's kind of boring. But I don't know how <laughs> riveting my commentary really is. So, I don't know. Maybe next time I'll think of something more exciting to talk about. But, yeah, here's the finished thing. I think this turned out really well. The hair, I'm not super fond of. But everything else, I really like. The pose is very elegant and the background looks nice the drapes look at the, look at those curtains those are super good curtains that looks really good i think i'm sure a week from now i'll be like oh this looks like shit but anyway now i like it it looks good to me now that's what's important and uh yeah if you guys want to see all my artwork you can check it out on my instagram if you want to support me you can uh support me on patreon all the links to all my stuff are down below leave a like if you enjoyed because i guess likes matter now i, I don't know I guess they, I guess that's actually a good thing to leave a like now. Um, leave a comment, say something funny, I read them all, even the poopy ones, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.